All right, guys, so I kind of had to regroup. I done like, this is the third video now. Um, changing the oil in my skag. Uh, zero turn, walk behind mower. FS541V. Um, came into some problems with the drain plug. Uh, pretty much, the, the drain plug is, uh, is plastic, so... Last year when I changed it, everything was fine, and I go to do it this year, and it started to strip on me. So, um, once something like a plastic bolt strips, <laughs> you got a lot of work. You got a lot of bullshit. That's why I have all these tools. Um, I'll probably post all three videos, maybe two. Um, you're going to need that. This is how I got the bolt cracked, thank God. Um, you're going to need... Uh, a pan to catch the oil, um, two quarts of uh, four cycle, 10W40. They used to do 10W30, which I told you last year, and you're obviously your oil filter. Um, definitely go to a dealership to uh, to get the oil. I'm gonna make a mess now. Um, let me put you guys on the tripod so I can show you. Pain in my ass today. I tell you what, that's the worst thing when you when you're working on a, a a car or a mower or whatever and starts giving you problems. So whatever you do, if you go to change your oil or anything on any vehicle, never strip the bolt. Once the bolt stripped, or what I think I did last year was is I went too tight on the uh, on the drain plug because I'm so worried about the oil coming out, but. Obviously, that wasn't a good idea because <laughs> now I'm battling battling with this guy. I got it cracked, so it should ha it, it, it should go according to plan now. Hold on. All right, guys, so this is your oil filter. This is where you put the oil in. Make sure you take this off. It lets air through to drain the oil better because you want all the oil out. You don't want to leave any, uh, you don't want to leave any old oil in the uh, engine, especially like if you go to fill it back up and there's some in there and then you overfill it, you blow your engine. So <coughs> be really careful with that. So I got it. I, I, I went, I started with a 10 millimeter, hold on, where the heck is it now? 10 millimeter wrench, this is nine. But um, I went with a six point, six point socket because uh, six point um, sockets have less chance of stripping. So I used a little of this PB Blast. Any bolt that's having a problem, you wanna put this on. Let it sit for a minute and then try it. And, that, and that's pretty much what I did and it worked. So here we go. You're gonna make a mess and there's gonna be oil everywhere, but we'll get this done. Here we go. Now, whatever you do, <clears throat> once you take this drain plug out, make sure you put it somewhere where you know where it is. Because if you lose this, you're going to have to go to the dealership to get another one. So, here it goes. It's about to go right now, guys. Always be easy when you're fixing stuff. Don't be rambunctious. That's one of my problems. 
when I'm fixing stuff. I want to get it done. All right, I'm going to try to do the rest by hand, and it's going to start flowing out. Have your, your T-shirt and your paper towels ready to clean everything up, especially for the oil filter. There it goes. Boom. Oh, shit. Shit goes everywhere. Now, I jacked up the back to make sure that um, all the oil flows this way. Here's my drain plug. This is the thing that I was telling you about that got stripped. Do you see how it's all mangled up? So you literally, if that happens, you have to go to your dealership and get another one. Always wipe off where it goes into the engine. You don't want no dirt, okay? Put it in a safe place. I'm going to put it here with the dipstick. I can tell this bastard needed to be changed. Hold on, I'm going to jack it up a little more. See if I can get any more out. Hold on. Wow, this is exactly <laughs> exactly why I needed to change the oil. The oil was lower than low. If you don't do this, guys, you're going to blow your engine. I've done a lot of um, cutting the last year that, was, that grass was really high. It puts a lot of stress on your engine. So um, if you end up getting a customer and the... the the lawn is like 10, 12 inches and you have to rip through it and your mower box down and everything, um, it burns up the oil. It's not good for your engine at all. And, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of shit in the last, uh, I don't know, a couple of months. So I've been meaning to change it, but I finally decided to. So, all right, now it's filter time. Let's see if I can get it off by hand. Nope, of course not. Not gonna let me do that. <sighs> other uh, oil filter uh, let me see use here this thing fucking sucks that's why I never use it I figured it'd be okay for this they say to hand tighten it that's why like last year I hand tightened it but I tightened it pretty hard so just trying to use this to get it off There we go. We got it. It should come off by hand now. Most of the rest of the oil should come out through here. There it goes. See, guys? Now I got to let this guy drain for um, a few minutes here. God, this needed to be done. This wore it. Mower ain't under warranty anymore, so <laughs> definitely has to be done. This is what the rag's for, is to clean up the mess. The way they designed this, I mean, I think I can come off the bottom to drain the oil, but this is just the easiest for me. I can't lift this thing up without a jack. I, I have a jack, but you literally have a zip tie under there, all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's, let's let this guy drain for a few minutes. And this, this is what this is for. You want to clean this area here. Clean it all out. As best as you can. Make sure the rag is, the paper towel or napkin or whatever is dry. Okay. See how it's still, it's still dripping. So I got to let it drain a little bit.
are you, Mr. Drain Plug? Where are you, Mr. Dipstick? Listen, I'm gonna have to get another one of these. Like, the next time I decide to uh, do the oil change. And now I'm not gonna be able to tighten. Don't tighten it too much, but don't tighten it not enough. Because if you don't tighten it enough, the oil is gonna leak out of and make sure when you do the oil change, don't put too much in. Put it like a quart, quart and a half. You know what I mean? Check it. See where it's at. It requires two quarts. Two quarts of oil and the oil filter. So um, the worst thing you want to do is put too much oil in your engine and your engine can't take. It's just like a car. You put too much oil in, you're going to blow it. You put not enough, you're going to blow it. So it's a finicky uh, process here. But we're getting it done, guys. I was, I was like, really, fr I have like three video, two videos before this one <laughs> where I'm struggling. I had to keep turning it off and figure out a different way so you guys aren't sitting there in limbo. But if you want, I'll post all three of them. You guys liked them last year. So one guy said he couldn't see nothing. But, you know, these are the kind of things that um, if you do it yourself and figure it out, um, You'll save money, you'll save time. Um, just something good to know, guys. You know, we're in a recession right now. So, saving a little money helps at this point. And to learn how to do it and learn how your engine works and learn, you know, like right here is your dipstick, right here is your, um, your oil filter, and that's your drain plug. And this right here, don't ever worry about this. This is your safety net. This little white tank right here. If your mower gets too hot, you're going to see this thing fill up. When it is cold, there's a little line here. It, it, you have a number, you have hydro gear, and you have full cold. So when your engine is cold and not running, your oil level should be right where this line is. It's just... A safety net for when your mower gets hot when you're mowing 10 inches 12 inches of grass okay guys all right let's put the plug in I don't know I can't even like I'm scared to even tighten, <laughs> tighten this thing so I can't get it off anymore it, it should be fine I think the PV PV blast it's it's plastic I don't know why these guys uh these manufacturers make a plastic plug it doesn't make any sense to me but they did and that's you know you got to deal with it once it starts getting tight guys And make sure this back part that I was trying to loosen up before, make sure that's tight too. And make sure you check and make sure there's no oil leaking. And make sure for like the first two or three days after you run this thing for an hour or so, or even 20, 10, 15 minutes, check your oil. Make sure you're not losing oil. Because if you lose your oil and you don't know, you blow your engine. I'm being like a pussy right now, tightening this thing up. I'm going like really, really, because I know it's stripped. So I just want to get it snug without stripping it. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, uh, like once the first two, two or three th threads go in, I mean, you're pretty much sealed up, but you don't want to, you don't want to crank on this thing. So the next time you go to change it, you're never going to be able to get it off. Just like what happened to me just now. Okay. Um, yeah, look, it's still dripping out. And like this oil rag right here, I just I just killed one of my old white t-shirts. Dude, you can use it again and again and again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright. Guys, time to put the oil filter on. Usually they say, throw a little uh, oil right here. 
I don't really have much now. I don't want to dip into dirty oil. It's just just line the rubber gasket. It's good for it. Now they say, now when you put this on, don't don't strip it, guys. Make sure you go on. Make sure the threads start to go on. And they say hand tighten. And that's pretty much what I did last time and everything was fine. So you get it snug. Get it where it's tight. Take your rag. And just hand tighten it. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to put a core in right off the rip. And then um, I'm going to put like another quart in the quart and a quarter. I have extra if I need it. Well, I should be using the funnel, but for whatever reason, it's pouring in okay. I don't see nothing leaking out. But you never know, once you start the mower, <laughs> just never want to run your machine without oil. And you never want to run your machine with too much oil. I don't know uh, other brands, like, you know, exactly where everything's located, but I'm pretty sure this company, Skag, is uh, pretty much everything's probably in the same spot on most machines. Not 100% sure, though. Oh, Jesus. Look, this is exactly what you don't want to do. Pour it slow. Better than overfilling it, I guess. Let's put like another quart and a half in. And then we'll take it for a little ride. Make sure everything works, and then we'll put the rest in. from there okay I saw more stuff dripping <sighs> listen guys I want you to like share subscribe if it comment whatever if you like these videos I got all kinds of crazy videos I could be doing tree work chainsaws um, you know all this kind of stuff Landscaping videos, uh, I do it all. What do we got? About a quart and a half. It requires two quarts, so just so you guys know. But I'm so scared about having my mower overfilled with oil and less oil is better than oil less oil oil is better than f overfilling oil and is better than no oil so make sure don't forget your dipstick don't forget your drain plug don't forget to go too tight on the drain plug and but make sure it's snug and if it strips out go buy another one it's not a big deal as long as you can get it off Alright, let me take it for a ride, see how it runs, and then um, I'll leave the camera on until I come back, and then um, we'll go from there. Can I get out of here? I'm in a tight spot right now. Hold on. I got to take it off the jack, too. Give me a sec. All right, guys, we're going to fire it up. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God, it sounds so much better. 